According to the organization which is centered on women and aims to empower women, Namibia is signatory to a number of international treaties that enshrine human rights and that selectivity in land ownership by foreign nationals could pose a challenge. Namibia is a, a, you know, a party to many international treaties, some of which or most of which embodies human rights. And when we are talking about human rights, we are saying that these rights are universal rights. They apply to everybody, including a foreign national. Under international uh, 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 law, there is a general obligation, a customary general obligation uh, uh, of the protection of foreign nationals. And this protection could also extend by implications to their rights, which relates to property in a foreign country. I'm mentioning this because we should safeguard, uh, safeguard ourselves from uh, you know, befalling the situation that occasioned uh, uh, our neighboring country, uh, Zimbabwe. The NGO also shared its observation on Section 26 of the Communal Land Reform Act, advising that seeking land emancipation for Namibian citizens should be done with caution and in accordance with existing legislation. In that, when you talk about a customary land right, you are talking about a one title right. You are talking about a right of use which follows which follows an individual for the rest of the natural life of that person. And the Communal Land Reform Act actually explains and, and, and you know how uh, that land right should be treated when, when, the, when, when the person followed by such a right uh, is deceased. And that's what uh, Mr. Kamaini also mentioned, that it reverts back to the traditional authority. But then it goes to the point that uh, 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 after that, reallocation, it means that that right should be reallocated to, to, to someone else. And the act points out who that someone else should be. Where in the first place is the surviving spouse. If it's a man who had the right, it would be the woman, the, the widow. If, it's the, if it was the, the widow, I mean, if it was the woman who was the, the owner of that title right, it would be the widower. But now the act also go to point number two to say, if both parents are no more, then that right should, shall be uh, reallocated to the children. So that is very important to understand. Now, again, that, that same question comes back to say, what if my wife is a foreign national? What if my wife was a foreign national and I die? What happens? The act says that the reallocation should go to my, my wife. So are we saying that this woman, because of being a foreign national and being married to me for the past 23 years, she, she, she should be kicked out just because of her origin? And also, if my wife now also passed away, so both of us are gone, but our children were born by both me as a Namibian uh, a citizen and my foreign wife, so are we saying that these children may not qualify, that maybe 50% of this might be taken away because of their foreign mother? The Parliamentary Standing Committee will consult with the associations of local authorities and regional councils, the National Youth Council, the Women Action for Development, the Council of Traditional Leaders and the Council of Churches before making a decision in the National Assembly on the petition of AR.